Girl, I can't deal with Miss Tamar. Girl, let me tell you, she coming out. You see the title, Tamar Braxton says relationship with her ex, David, wasn't terrible. And he was an amazing partner. And girl, you know what? I think it's treason and I think it's betrayal of her damn sisters. Now, you know, yesterday um, came about and um, Tony Braxton, you know, the head, uh, you know, you know who Tony Braxton is. She's an icon in the music industry. Now, she came out condemning David because David had the police go to her house. Now it was rumors that David tried to get the police not to go to her house, but they went anyway and she just blamed it on David. Um, but anyway, um, the, the popos came to the house. She blamed it on David and she said, David, you weasel, you fair, you are beyond contempt. Once again, do not include my kids in your shenanigans. Please leave my family alone. And she's not the only family member that got a problem with David, you know. Um, Vincent told David, you know, to stay away from his damn son. Tamar then came out and said, um, David, you know, was trying is lying on her that david was the one that was doing her wrong and she put out pictures to, showing us how david didn't didn't put pause on her do y'all remember that yeah now she's changing her damn story and i think it's all because now tony braxton came out and spoke out and uh, tawanda spoke out now she want to flip the script she could have been said this a couple of uh, weeks ago when we were first clowning that man you know what i'm saying Everybody been dogging out goddamn David. She could have been said something there. So why she want to take out now when Tony and Tawanda is really speaking out about it. See, that's the bullshit I don't like. But uh, let's hear what she got to say because it is a damn mess, you know. Hold on, let me go back up here. Please like this video because we begging for likes. We is, and I'm trying, I'm trying to make this video short. So come on, girl. Whew. Okay, so today is a lot. And... um. I just wanted to come on here and just clear some things up. I really honestly appreciate my family, you know, all of a sudden speaking up for me, you know, I do appreciate that. And, you know, it's expected when you're going through a breakup for families, you know, to choose a side and have things to say. It's never positive. Um, and I know nobody agrees with what, you know, David said on his live. I don't agree with what he said, you know. But I do feel compelled to say that it wasn't a terrible relationship. Um, David was an amazing partner to me. He was an amazing stepdad to Logan. Um, he wasn't a clout chaser. He wasn't trying to be on TV. He did everything on TV and showed up for me because I asked him to. And... And um, I don't feel like majority of the things that are being said is warranted because, you know, what I went through this summer was very traumatic for both of us. And um, he was there for me every step of the way, even when most people were not. The people that I thought was going to show up did not show up. He showed up. And that's why I feel so compelled to say something now because, you know, as much as I understand everybody dragging him through the mud and saying what they need to say because of what he said on his life, the other part is still present too. And this is not me trying to get back with David or we working things out because we're not. I haven't talked to him or seen him since August 30th. Just me on my journey, I just really want to do the right thing. And I, I'm sorry if I look ridiculous trying to do the right thing, but you know, and um, girl, if you want to do the right thing, take your butt to court till you can talk to David, cause David got a um. He trying to serve you, and he been trying to serve you, Tamar, and that's the reason why he went over to the popos, went over to Tony House to try to serve you. So if you're gonna do the right thing, and now you want to put his butt up on a pedal stool, and you want to betray your own family that's been there for 30, 40, 50, I don't know how many years you've been on this earth. You don't know this man. You only been knowing this man for 33 years, but he was there for you for a moment in time, and all of a sudden. You know, when when your girls, you know, want to speak up for you, want to flip the script, okay? Who was there for you before David was here? Because we all know you've been dealing with shit before David, so who was there for you then? You know, you got a whole, you had a whole husband, Vincent. You was working with your sisters. I would think that's damn support. If all your sisters is coming up and working together and working, y'all working, that's not, that's support, you know? 
If it wasn't for them, y'all wouldn't have a show. Y'all need each other. Y'all supported each other. But, you know, I ain't going to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, girl, go to that damn court because he's not that bad of a person. And go what he say what he got to say. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but um, they said that Tamar did not want this relationship to be over. But, David, he's over it. And he uh, went down there to the popos, and he, he said that Tamar put the paws on him and threatened him to get them thugs to come after his ass, right? Uh-huh. So um, she oh, got more. I just wanted to say that. And, you know, unfortunately, this is a situation where nobody wins. We're in a legal dispute, and things are blown out of proportion. And I just feel really bad for everybody, including myself. So I would just really like to heal privately and be able to tell my story when I feel the need to tell my story. So everybody involved, thank you. I love you. But I would like to heal in private. All right. There's some strange things considering she's on two uh, reality TV shows. And one of the uh, reality TV shows is all about her life. It stays talking about her personal life. But, yes, she don't want to talk about her personal life. But she want to do reality show, making money about her personal life. And, Tamar, if that man did not want to do TV shows, why would you push him to do a reality show where you know he didn't feel comfortable with Well, he only did it because you pushed his ass to do it. And now he's complaining. He's like, I don't like how I'm being shown on the networks. You know, this is not right. You have, Come on now. Come on. I don't understand this, but um, Tawanda, she has something to say too. Check this yeah, out. Yeah, Tony is okay. She's just really pissed off at yeah. David, as we all are. Uh, we don't appreciate or, I guess, um, agree or condone the way that he's handling the situation. It's just, it's even deeper than you guys can even imagine. So, Y'all only know the surface of it. That's it. So yeah. for Tony to even say something and to post it on social media, because you know she never does anything like that um you know he's gone way too far yeah and you know like she said you don't involve the children we don't care what happens or how we may disagree or agree to disagree you never involve the children and david went over the line when it comes to that you know so, Somebody said, drop David's address, please. I can't do that. <laughs> but I would say, yeah. my words, is that I believe that he's a loser boy. From the rooter to the tutor. Yes, Tony is okay. She's just really pissed All off. All right, so you heard the sisters, girl. And after Tawanda and Tony said what they said, that's when um, your home girl Tamar, she came out and she made this video protecting and uplifting david okay so comment let us know what you guys think about this i'm trying to make it short i love y'all y'all know i got a problem making it short okay <laughs> i'll see y'all sooner or later have a blessed day bye